Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, this week we're going to talk about Floriani Total Quilter. I was at Above and Beyond in Colorado this last week, and or and I had the same question from several of the of the different ladies, and the question was, in my Total Quilter, what is Quilt Builder? So I realized we must not have ever done a thorough, or I have not done a thorough video on my quilt builder. So we're going to talk about that today. So remember, if you have total quilter, remember the pink is my decorative quilter, the purple is all about appliquilt, and blue is about my quilt builder. So we're going to focus on my quilt builder today, but in order to do that, I'm going to need a block. So I'm going to come up into my Appliquilt blocks. I'm going to left mouse click, and I'm just going to select a block. Now I've never pulled up the Magic Window block before. You know, every time I go into these programs, I'm sometimes amazed at what all's there that I haven't seen yet. And I haven't ever pulled up this block. So we're going to use that. Now I've told you if you want to do any editing of this block, changing the stitches, adding in different fabrics, um, attaching stuff, changing fills, adding stipple. We're always going to work in the purple. But if we want to do basic functions such as file, save as, edit, view, we're going to use other tools. So I'm going to copy this block. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to select it for a copy. And that wouldn't be done in my, in my Appliquilt because I'm not editing this block. So I'm going to come here to my selection tool and I am going to select this block. I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'm going to copy it. Now we're going to go into My Quilt Builder. Now that's the blue ones. So let's left mouse click and the first thing that comes up is my grid. It's asking me, Kathy, how do you want to build this quilt? How many blocks across? How many down? What size sashing, if any, are you going to use? What size border do you want to put in? And we're going to leave it as the basic 4x4. Four four. I'm happy with that. So this tells me I've got 4x4 four four on the quilt blocks. And this is saying, what size are your quilt blocks? Well, that depends. And this is finished size, so that's important. <coughs> Excuse me. So my finished size on these, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default of 8x8. Now the sashing is in here. I can either put it in or not. I think I'm going to take the sashing out. I don't want any sashing. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my border at two inches. And I'm going to apply. So now this is how I want my quilt. Now what I'm going to do is I've had to have a block, so I created that apple quilt block. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select with my quilt builder because now I'm in the blue, I'm going to left mouse click on a block, and now I'm going to right mouse click to paste, because I already copied. Now notice it says paste. Now if I paste this, it's going to paste to a single block. Paste. So now I have it in just this block. Let's undo as our friend. So now let's select it, right mouse click, and I can paste it to all the blocks in the quilt. So now I've said paste to all blocks. So there it is. Now I could come in here and with each individual block, I could come in and rotate. I could, of course, it's not going to make a bit of difference in this one. Well, it would with this fabric right here. I'd rotate it again because I want my oranges together. So there's my oranges. So I could go in through and rotate it to match this triangle. But you can see what we're doing. So now let's go undo as our friend. We're unrotating and we're going to remove them. Now I can, again, I'm going to select this block. I'm going to right mouse click and it says paste to selected row. Well, the row is across. Or I could have pasted to selected column. So that would do a column. Undo as our friend. Or I could select in here and I could right mouse click and say 
paste to every other block. So you do have all the choices in here to see how your quilt's going to look. Now I could also, because one of my questions was, is could I just select random? What if I want to paste one here? And I wanted one here. And maybe I want one here. There, you would have to do those individually because you can't just select three spaces and say paste there. So in this respect, you would have, if you're doing random, you would actually have to do the randoms yourself. So let's go ahead and undo as our friend. Now let's just come here and let's paste to um, every other block. I'm going to paste to every other block right now. Okay, now I'm going to go back, get a new piece of paper, and I'm going to pick up another design. Doesn't matter what, because we're just looking at the program. So there's another block. Again, now I'm going to select this block to copy it. Right mouse click copy. I'm going to come back into my quilt here, and I'm going to right mouse click and paste to every other block here. So now I've got my quilt built, and I'm going to go ahead and come in here and look at my border. So I'm going to come to the quilt grid colors, and my border color, I'm going to come down and pick, and I think I'm going to make it red. Apply. So now I can see what it's going to look like. Now I could 3D it, and I could look at this with stitches, and I, like I say, I could have added stippling and all that, and you can find that lesson in one of the My Total Quilter lessons on Apple Quilt itself. But now that we have all this done, let's go ahead and select our quilt, all of our items, and now I can save this, I can export all my files at once. So I'm going to export quilt files, whereas if I was doing just the individual Apple Quilt block, I would export it from the Apple Quilt page. But now what are we going to call this? We're going to call this Project of the Week. And I'm going to say June because I don't know if I have another Project of the Week. Now I can decide what my seam allowance is going to be. So I'm going to go with quarter inch. Now I can pick whichever machine I want to save for. So all your machines are in here as well as your You've got your Pro Stitcher, your IntelliQuilter, you've got everything in here, Statler, you've got them all. So I'm just going to stay here with just a PEZ format. Now it's asking me, do you want cut files? Well, I do because I guarantee you if I'm cutting out all these little diamonds and stuff, it's going to be on my cutter, on my digital cutter. But if I don't have a digital cutter, I'm going to say come down here and put for manual cutting and then I can actually print this out on the back of our Apple stick by Quilter Select. I can actually print that out or our Applique Wonder by Floriani because I want, remember, in Apple Quilt we're sticking everything down. So we're going to either put it on Apple stick or Apple, our Applique Wonder, one of the two, the two um, stabilizers. Now I'm going to export this. Now what this is going to do for me is it's going to give me all the cutting files, it's going to give me my stitch files, it's going to give me everything I need. So in order to stitch this out or to cut out all these pieces, it's given me everything I need. So let's just look at the stitches here. And let me just open this, open with, oh, well I don't have I didn't put in my total quilter in that, so I will just come over here. I'm going to go ahead and get my new piece of paper. I'll come to my library. Oh, well, I'm glad because I needed to show you something. In my library, when you build a whole quilt, it's under Quilt Builder. If you're doing individual blocks, it's under Apple Quilt. And this, the program makes the files itself, so it's not something you have to create. So I'm going to left mouse click. And I'm going to collect, and I'm going to check on, ooh, come here. Hang on one second. It's acting a little crazy here. I don't know why my computer's acting a little nuts, but we're just going to, anytime your computer goes nuts or something's not working, 
just reboot. We don't know why computers do what they do. They just do it. So we're going to come right back. Now let's go to that library. Let's go to Quilt Builder. And there's my POW project of the week for June. And here's my designs. Everything I need is in here. All my cut files, it's all in front of me. It's really cool. It just does everything for me. And I just love that. I'm going to come all the way down. Let me pull this out so we can see better. There we go. Now we've got our cut files. We're going to have our stitch files in here. So you can see everything is here that we need. So here's that magic block. So now there it is. And it's given me the cut files for all the blocks that I actually have put in that quilt. So I would have eight of these. I would also have eight of these because we had 16 blocks. And what does it do? It puts down your placement lines. So you're going to peel and stick and stick all your pieces down in here. Then it's going to come in and do your binding motif. And then if we had done any stippling or quilting in there, it would have put those in. And then it's going to put our quarter inch seam allowance. So everything I need for this entire quilt has been exported into my quilt builder file. So I hope you learned in this lesson. I hope that answers questions that have not apparently been answered about quilt builder. So we're just going to look forward to seeing you again next week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks so much for coming. And by the way, starting July 1st, my progressive classroom will start. Now this is going to be a membership club where you can purchase by the year, by the month, by the quarter, and we will have full projects where we create it, digitize it in the software, and then we will have all the video files on stitching out and construction. So I hope you look forward to look, uh, seeing upcoming information about my progressive classroom. So see you soon. Have a great week.